Hello, God bless each and every one of you. Welcome to my channel. My name is David. Uh, I am a born-again Christian. I believe in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. I believe in the Holy Bible. I believe in reading the Bible. I believe in going to church. I believe that you must accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior to make it to heaven. I believe you must repent of your sins to make it to heaven. I believe that God created the heavens, the earth, and everything within it. Those are my beliefs. I stand by them. I will not waver from them, no matter what the world dictates, no matter what the world says. I will stand with Jesus Christ, no matter what. Because in the end, if I do not, well, I don't even want to go there. I don't even want to go there. As a matter of fact, I want to read a scripture out of the book of Isaiah. We're going to go to the fifth chapter. We're going to read one scripture. And I think you're going to know where I'm going to go with this once I read this scripture. I'm going to go to the 20th verse, 5th chapter, the book of Isaiah. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. I use this scripture a lot when I talk to unbelievers, when I talk to people that want to argue with me, debate with me, whatever you want to call it. I use that scripture because that is exactly, my friends, what we're seeing today. You have people that love to attack, love to attack anyone that stands for Jesus Christ, anyone that stands for this Bible, but yet on the other hand, they will try to use this Bible to make whatever point they want to make. Reminds me of the same with the Constitution. They do the same thing for the Constitution. But that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about where they try to take what God would call an abomination or what the Bible would call a perversion and they want to make that good. They want to make that normal and acceptable. But yet they want to make what the Bible says wrong, or in other words, evil. They truly do see darkness as light and light as darkness. They truly do see that. And the scary thing is, this is being pumped every day in through our televisions and through our media, our print media, the internet, our radios in the vehicles, you hear every day how you're wrong for believing this or you're wrong for believing that, that there's more than two genders, that God made more than man and woman, that marriage is more than just man and woman. We're seeing our children being bombarded in schools with this blatant pop propaganda Capitalism is evil. Socialism is the way to go. You can't think that way. You can't bring this Bible to school. You can't wear a shirt that pronounces the name Jesus Christ unless it's a cuss word. Then it's perfectly fine. And again, evil as good, good as evil. You can't do none of that. Because you, my friends... You stand with Jesus Christ. You stand on the Word of God. And in today's terminology and in today's world, outside the Christian community, you are the ones that are wrong. You are the ones that are evil. You are the ones that are the bigots. You are the ones that are the racist. You are the ones that hate. Even though Jesus Christ tells us to love, Jesus Christ teaches us to love the sinner, but not the sin. That's the part they just simply cannot get over. Love the sinner, but not the sin. We see every day how these so-called politicians use their faith, they stand behind their faith, even though 
what they are standing behind is not what this Bible teaches in any shape, form. And that, my friends, is if they're even standing behind the Holy Bible and not some other book that they call the only way or the one. God made man in his own image. It's man that has turned his back on the Lord. It is man that has dictated all of these abominations, especially in the 21st century, as normal and acceptable. If you consider yourself a Christian and you stand up for, let's just say, abortion, okay, and, and you consider yourself a Christian and you stand on the Word of God, and you accept abortion as some normal, run-of-the-mill practice that's just a woman's choice, then you are wrong. Because, simply put, that's murdering of God's children. Now, I've made plenty of videos on my channel about abortion. I make no secret where I stand on that. I make no secret that I stand with our Lord and Savior, that I stand for a life, that I stand with those little infants that are murdered. Remember, the leading candidate within the Democrat Party just the other day said they have no room for pro-lifers in the Democrat Party. If you call yourself a Christian, and you read the Bible, and you believe what's in this book, you've accepted Christ, and you stand with that evil with that perversion and that abomination, then you need to do some rethinking. You need to ask the Lord if that's the direction you should be going. Remember, the leading candidate just the other day said they have no room for pro-lifers in the Democrat Party. Now, I'm not here to slam on the Democrat Party. I'm not here to slam on Bernie Sanders. I'm not. It is... I will say this, it is a scary proposition what the man is peddling, okay? He is peddling nothing but pure evil. Socialism, communism, Marxism, whatever you want to call it, it's not good. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about these people that are propagating these lies upon our youth. I'm here to, to tell you that they are literally calling the Holy Bible, evil. Sometimes not by what comes out of their mouth, but by the actions they put forth. They shame you if you stand for the Lord. If you're in the public eye and you stand for Jesus Christ, they will slam you every which way they can. Make no bones about it. I did a video a few months ago on the quarterback, Drew Brees that did an ad for a Christian radio station. And when they found out that Christian radio station was a pro-life radio station that believed in marriage of one man and one woman, well, the media attacked him vehemently. They went after him, all guns blazing. And he made a mistake. And I can say that because he caved into them and apologized. My friends, you do not apologize for the word of God. You do not apologize for what Jesus Christ teaches and tells us. You don't. You don't be embarrassed or ashamed of our Lord and Savior. Because if you're ashamed of Him, while you're here on this earth, He shall be ashamed of you before the Father. Don't make that mistake. It's not easy being a Christian today in 2020. Believe me, I know with my channel. I know without a doubt they they're, they bury my content. You can hardly find it. You can't even find it. It's never going to be featured on YouTube. Why? Well, because I'm pro-life. I stand for Jesus Christ. I've accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I stand for the Holy Bible. And those are things that they do not like at all. And it won't be long. It won't be long until little channels like mine will be given strikes for hate speech and be removed from YouTube. And then they'll work their way up the chain to the bigger ones. You mark my words, my friends. We are living in the last days, no doubt about it. 
No doubt about it. They definitely see evil as good and good as evil, as it says in Isaiah 5.20. And that is what I based my video on today. You must be diligent. You must stand for the Word of God. Because if you don't, you're lost. You're lost. I can stand in front of this camera and tell you Jesus is the only way until I'm literally blue in my face. But if you don't believe, then I'm wasting my time. And I don't want to waste my time. I'm trying to get the message out. I try to teach. I try to tell each and every one that will take the t 10 or so minutes that I, my videos are. To listen to the 10 or so minutes that my videos are. That God is your only answer today. None of this stuff in the world is the answer. That stuff out there is death, my friends. That is the second death as the lord says that's what the second death is what that world is one last thing you can't straddle the fence you can't live for the lord on one hand and the world on the the world on the other you have to take a stance you have to make that choice i can't make it for you you have to make that choice you either stand up for jesus christ or you go to the world and die with them. Take care, my friends. If you like my video, I would ask that you would subscribe and hit the like button. And if not, that's fine. Wait a few days, come back, watch another video, give me another try. You might like another video. But remember, I will never change my stance on the Bible or my belief in Jesus Christ. That will never change. God bless each and every one of you. Have a wonderful Wednesday evening, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.